Good morning and welcome. My name is Martin McCarthy and I have the pleasure to serve as the Chairman and CEO of the 451 Group, the parent organization of Uptime Institute, your host today and for this week for Symposium 2013, the Global Digital Infrastructure Evolution. Those of you who have been with us now going back eight years to our days in Orlando and those who wound your way through New York to Santa Clara now, where you've been for three years, have seen this theme become more prominent and more developed in the last few years since the acquisition of Uptime by 451 Group. I'd like to update you today at the outset of our program about who we are as an organization today and our angle on this important topic. Key within it is our ongoing commitment to global expansion, and of course, we want to thank our underwriters for their activities and support of this program. It would not be possible otherwise. Today, the 451 Group goes to market under these three brand names, 451 Research, Uptime Institute, and a recent acquisition at the cusp of the year, a long-standing IT, tech, telecommunications, and mobility research company, Yankee Group. We also have advanced our cause with the growing portfolio of global events, and thus 451 events, now led by our acquired entity, uh, Tech Touchstone, and Simeon Turner and his group. And 451 Advisors has pulled together all of the other professional services operations there outside of Uptime. I stand before you today with a company that has over 250 staff globally, serving almost 1,500 client organizations from a dispersed and diverse uh, market segments. This is not just about the enterprise, nor the third party, nor the service provider or the financier. We have a unique community here, and we welcome all of you here to participate in the dialogue. Our firm has grown as this marketplace has evolved, both organically and through acquisition. We achieved another strong year of growth last year of high 20% growth rate. This year will more than double that rate, still primarily growing organically. Today, our business base in a company well over $50 million is primarily syndicated research, important and developing aspect of professional services, and of course, events. The leadership of our company is clear. We are here today to pull together the breadth and diversity of this complex topic, all organized around a principle of achieving business value. Just as war is too important to be left to the military, we believe that the digital infrastructure revolution is too important to be left only to the engineers and product specialists. This must become the business imperative, and everyone here on my leadership team is committed to helping each of our client sets to achieve business growth by understanding, mastering, and applying the insights of the digital infrastructure evolution. For those of you who are not aware of the change at this point, I'd like to call out to you the firmly ensconced now leadership of the next generation of Uptime, Julian Kudritsky, our global COO, and Vince Renault. Over the past decade, these gentlemen and their teams have been in your offices, in your data centers, on your construction sites, in your boardrooms, helping you to make the case and understand not only capital projects, construction, but operations of that key underpinning of the digital infrastructure, the facility stack. They have built a global team, and I'm welcoming here for the first time several of our new MDs from uh, Russia and North Asia to go with those of you who met for several years now, Phil Collerton out of London and Mozart out of Brazil. With the addition of Yankee Group and the focus on edge devices and mobility, we believe we have now the complete set of topics on the table to deal with the digital infrastructure evolution. 
And with the focus on these devices, we're so much driving now and future demand on our infrastructure from edge to core is a topic we will be exploring in depth in years to come. Everyone knows uptime around the world if you are involved in the data center and digital infrastructure business. I have never walked into a meeting in over 50 countries now across the world where people don't know of the Tiers Standard and Uptime Institute. Uptime started by Ken Brill 20 years ago more as a lone light, a lone voice out there to bring together participants. Uptime still is for owners and operators by owners and operators, and the services we go to market there are only a fraction of the population we serve. Our standards are still downloaded over 1,000 times a month on a global basis. We do go to market with our tier certification services, which since our acquisition in 2009 has taken off asymptotically. Operations, we introduced last year, is a key aspect to move uptime beyond the focus on capital projects. We are training and developing staff, your staff, around the world. Our reach is indeed now global. We have done business over the years now in over 70 countries. And our tier certification is quickly becoming the table stakes for being considered a sophisticated, validated offering of data center space and digital infrastructure. You see here, over recent years, the breadth and extension of adoption. We are first and foremost a knowledge company. We are committed towards sharing this and co-developing with all aspects of the industry insights. A great example of this took place yesterday when we had an alumni meeting of our accredited tier designers. We had over 30 participants from 10 countries, all ATDs, to participate in a discussion of improving communication between the design community and the client community. Let me avoid my Marco Rubio moment by having water in my hand. Those of you who are here today in advance of the program which we are holding next door here, uh, our ATD and ATSs in Santa Clara, thank you for coming early and participating in this, this day. Those of you who are not yet have that credential, uh, you see that we are delivering these services uh, around the globe and this is just uh, what's on dock for this current year. The growing number of specialists and design community participants in the tier standard and with an Uptime Institute, I think is an indication to the value that we have been delivering and will continue to deliver to business owners and operators. The mix has been evolving. As we have sewn together, stitched together different aspects of the digital infrastructure marketplace, it is underpinned by our continuing and expanding commitment to research. Now this research is based upon in-depth surveys, briefings from market participants, financial analysis and charrettes, as well as going to market here with syndicated research. Because of the activity and the focus on the enterprise user, we are delighted to announce the introduction of a new product service Enterprise 451. If you are involved or your clients are involved in the procurement, in the operation, in the evolution of digital infrastructure, please stop by the 451 group booth on the Village Green in the Expo Hall and learn about this exciting offering which pulls together peer insight as well as analyst opinion and consultant practical experience. I want to give another call out here to the Yankee Group because, again, we have not perhaps dealt with it in this forum and it will be a key topic in next year's group, but this is what is driving demand in your enterprise and in your service provider business place. Again, this activity here today has 
folks from 35 countries around the world, reflecting our leadership and having planted our flag in most continents around the planet. And for those of you who are not here, right, if you're hearing me on uh, tape or someone streaming or someone commenting and so forth on it, don't worry, we're coming to you. 451 Events is going global and we'll talk more about that tomorrow, but we will be in Moscow, in North and South Asia, as well as in Mexico before the year is out. Most important, particularly for those of you from the service provider side, is our upcoming other marquee event in Vegas in September, our hosting and cloud transformation summit. What is your infrastructure, your digital infrastructure game plan? We will be going through a digital infrastructure playbook. And again, it is not a one size fits all, just as all of our approaches are customized to your specific needs. There are many ways to play, there are many ways to win, and just as we don't believe that tier four is an objective that everyone should shoot for, we also know that each organization needs to define and implement their own digital infrastructure strategy. To help you along that journey, we have brought together a growing number of sophisticated practitioners who have experienced throughout the ecosystem as deployers of technology in companies and service providers, as developers of software and services and products there in hardware organizations. Tony Bishop, the uh, CEO of Applied Velocity Labs, whose firm we acquired earlier this year, is co-heading with Kieran Shaw, our 451 advisors, to work with Steve Carter on the planning side and digital capacity planning. Many of you participated in Steve's seminar yesterday, and I know found a great value to hear some of the results that your colleagues at Sun Life and Bayer and, and other organizations have already received. And Sean Hackett here driving our research business here, working primarily on the vendor side. So we remain committed as an organization to pushing the envelope, to being that good friend who tells you the hard truth, and committed to long-term, sustainable, profitable global growth. This event, and indeed the entirety of marquee events like this, is not possible without the significant and continued support from our symposium underwriters. And we believe that uh, you will see already the difference this year. We listened to quite a few of you who said, let's focus on the discussion, let's focus on the ideas, it was great to have the modular campus here, but let's get back to a two-way discussion, an active, active event. There are fewer, and I think well-chosen, participants in our expo hall, led by, of course, the largest data center services organization in the world, Digital Realty. We appreciate the entirety of the support, and we're glad to have uh, them speaking uh, uh, later today. We uh, also thank George Lussman and his folks at I.O. Uh, of course, uh, a foundational underwriter from the outset of Symposium has been Schneider Electric, going back to his days of APC. And we welcome Fortrust to the diamond underwriting tier this year. All of these organizations come to you being vetted and being tasked with focusing on innovation and practical application of technology. There will be a higher concentration of their engineers, product specialists, and technical strategists than in any other event you will find. Of course, the activity, the insight, doesn't take just place in this main hall or in the breakout sessions. The exhibition hall, where you will be invited to uh, adjourn after lunch to have dessert there and uh, later today for reception, will be a great opportunity for you to meet our underwriters and engage with them. Also, we have over 100 staff here on premises from the 451 group. Many of you, I believe we have now several hundred, 300 plus one-on-one -on -one sessions to explore topics of interest. And of course, as you saw in the sidebars and in the main bar, uh, many discussions here, 
This is about dialogue. This is about participation. I encourage you to be an active participant over the next few days, to contribute to the dialogue, and to help the industry evolve in this important and challenging topic. Tomorrow we'll be talking a lot in the next two days about our own conceptual framework, which we think has great value, forces. Hank Cedar tomorrow morning after our introduction will turn to that keynote, but I ask you to make sure that you're here early again tomorrow to see that what we think is a powerful tool for decision making and achieving business value. Finally, I'd like to invite all of you to weigh in on what you're seeing, what you're hearing, what you think about what's going on here at Symposium 2013 and to tweet using this hashtag. I'm very proud of our organization and the hard work that so many people have put to make this event, none more so than the man I'm about to introduce, our overall uh, director of content and publications at Uptime, and for several years now, the chairman of the program here at Uptime Symposium. Matt Stansberry is kicking off the program today with insights gained from your shared participation in our Uptime annual survey. Matt, who will be your MC, as well as your host here from here on out, uh, please join me on stage. Thank you, have a great conference. We appreciate your participation.